these are the very common ones. And we do. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What are we up to? the Margaret Kenyatta Scholarship Awards. To begin our program, Your Excellency, allow me and make the opening remarks. You're welcome. Asada, Dr. Amina Mohammed, the former Vice President of the Republic of Kenya, School John O'Connor, the Deputy Director, Brookhouse Schools, Ms. Clara Moore, the patrons and the adversary team present distinguished part. Good morning. <laughs> and welcome to the Brookhouse Runda campus. Henry Wanyoiki. I was hoping I could do this without glasses, but I can't. <laughs> to the representatives of our, most importantly the students, thank you for being part of this very special little gathering. And Golda has been with us for a year now at Brookhouse and she received the Margaret Kenyatta Scholarship for her performance in the KCP Foundations. And now I'd like them flanking either side of the First Lady with the Cabinet Secretary next to them and let's get a nice photo of the four of them together. <laughs> much a part of that process is the, is the hard work and guidance of their parents. This photo of Dolan and her family with the First Lady. That's lovely. And now, Dolan. Is the first photo, and then the second photo will be the adversary. Officially open. And there it goes. Let us do a round of applause. Yes. As you can see, all of you can read. A round of applause. For a while now, I've been wanting to honour two particular aspects of a Brookhouse education. The first is our commitment to a rich learning experience, one that fosters wonder, exploration and curiosity. And the key to those things in a school is often the library. The library in any good school is a sort of core that holds the school together and it should cultivate 
a world of imaginative delight for each child. So it's very appropriate that when you're looking for someone to represent the steadfast core, the heart and soul of a school through its library, you turn to the one person who personifies the heart and soul of our nation, our First Lady, Margaret Kenyatta. Her grace and dignity honours all Kenyans. And more than anything else, she has captured the hearts of Kenyans through her steadfast commitments to things like the Beyond Zero campaign. So we are deeply honoured, or we will be in a few minutes, to dedicate the heart of the Runda campus to a lady of great heart. As the Runda Library becomes the Margaret Kenyatta Library. In this task, we have had the wonderful support of the First Lady as patron of the Margaret Kenyatta Scholarship Award. This award allows young girls from across Kenya to take up a place at Brookhouse based on their outstanding achievement at KCPE. Today, two very able, and I noticed this morning very grown up young ladies will receive their scholarships from the First Lady, Goldilyn and Olive. <laughs> Goldilyn, in 2018, achieved first place in her KCPE results at the end of 2017, isn't it? And Olive did the same thing the following year. So they both have in common that they came first across the nation in their KCPE results. And they happen to be the two young ladies receiving their scholarship this morning. I express my appreciation to Your Excellency for your continued encouragement and inspiration to the children of this nation by your selfless service. Your leadership has changed the lives of millions of Kenyans and will continue to positively impact on many generations to come. Allow me, Your Excellency, to also thank Brookhouse School for the role it has continued to play in complementing government efforts in the provision of quality education in our country. Today's scholarship award given to two of Kenya's best minds, Golden Tanga and Olive Washira, who were much best candidates in the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education Exams, KCP, in 2017 and 2018, respectively, is a clear indication of the school's commitment to mold future leaders of our beloved country. This scholarship, named after Your Excellency, will stand as an icon of faith in hard work, in excellence, and in transformation for many years to come. On the opening of the incredible Brookhouse Runda Campus Library, allow me, Your Excellency, to express that books have been the hallmark of learning since time immemorial as critical aids to teaching. And as has been said before, uh, books constitute capital. It's this capital that purchases the power to transform the future by expanding one's worldview, one's knowledge, and one's understanding. A library is a temple of knowledge and wisdom, and those who sojourn there are truly transformed. I welcome students to make full use of the facilities as they work to, as Gandhi said, become the change they want to see in this world. It is widely acknowledged that today's education systems should be preparing our children for an entirely different world from which we as parents experienced. Our youth need to perform in a diverse and highly competitive world, which is typified by fast advancing technology and innovation. But it's also a world where entre entrepreneurship, imagination, and cre creativity are celebrated. More investment is therefore required to ensure that our schools equip our children with knowledge, skills, and confidence. Instilling a reading culture in students is an integral part of our centers of learning. The new library and resource center that we shall be officially opening later will help to inspire that reading culture, as well as cultivate minds of wonder and curiosity. 
I hope it will also motivate our children to be willing to take chances and calculated risks that eventually chart their own paths to the future. I'm humbled and honored that you have chosen to name this important facility after me, and I do not take it for granted. I always look forward to spending time with young people because I truly believe that across the world, we're seeing the steady rise of a bold, ambitious, and visionary generation. A generation that is ready to question the status quo, to experiment with new ideas, and eager to build a better world. We can learn a lot from our children. We can also support them as parents, educators, mentors, counselors, to direct their energy and passion, support their interests, and empower them to be positive catalysts of change in our world. Today, as you've heard, we'll be awarding scholarships to Goldalyn and to Olive, who achieved first place in 2017 and 2018, respectively. This celebration is also about recognizing the many deserved achievements of all our students, their teachers, their mentors, their parents. Ultimately, the success of any child truly takes the support of an entire village. Today, I congratulate that village. I commend Brookhouse for taking a global approach to develop and mold its students to becoming global citizens, while at the same time honoring the culture of the host country, Kenya. Your multicultural environment embraces diversity and tolerance for one another. I congratulate you for your membership into the international networks, G20 and Round Square. These pillars are geared towards instilling global ideals in education, in humility, courage, and compassion for, others le less for, for other less fortunate citizens of this world. My message to all you children is that I know you are surrounded by faculty that has invested not just in molding your minds, but inspiring your hearts too. Here you have been taught to think critically and act compassionately. You have learned to read diligently and live responsibly. You have been encouraged to create, collaborate, and embrace curiosity. You have been taught to live with diverse people. I believe all these attributes that, that will, impact, will impact you later on in life, long after you've left school. <laughs> 